beef is probably the most inefficient food source that we have. What we know about the difference between beef from cows versus plant-based meat in terms of their environmental impacts is that greenhouse gas emissions, water use and land use from meat from cows takes orders of magnitude more resources and also has more environmental impacts than meat from plants. Even if that plant-based meat product is highly processed and packaged and shipped great distances. We were created to help be better for the planet and for people. Most meat eaters and flexitarians, they weren't really realizing the impact food was making. But when they hear about impossible, they were like, why would I eat it? I'm fine eating meat. And so that's where we were like, oh man, we got to really improve our messaging strategy and be much more overt about trying to target the meat eating population, primarily the flexitarian population that does know that they want to reduce their meat intake. There tends to be a small consumer base for buying on morality. The watershed moment comes when we discover that there's something in it for me beyond a functioning biosphere. What we're hoping to do is to say, this isn't a meat replacement. This is meat and it's made from plants. We're ushering meat into its plant era. We're basically food for anybody who eats. That's for flexitarians, for carnivores, for any, any kind of eater, we're for you. People who adopted a plant-based burger rather than a meat burger, often do so as a transition food. We are so far from our food sources and from how our food is made and what that does to our planet and us. People are becoming much more educated about that and they are really more deeply understanding and they're making decisions based on paying more basically for brands and products that are climate friendly or that, that are doing good things for people and or the planet. The largest environmental review done of all plant-based meat products to date found that nearly all plant-based meat products have significantly fewer greenhouse gas emissions, land use, and water use than nearly all animal-based meat products. I think Impossible Beef had a larger quantity of greenhouse gas emissions than conventionally produced chicken, but it still had less than pork or any comparable beef product on the market. People are very hard to change. It's not going to be an overnight shift where people are suddenly going to stop eating meat. But over time, it's absolutely true that not only is the beef industry facing a generation of understanding what that category is doing, but they are facing the actual impacts of climate change. When people ask me, oh, I'm finding it really difficult to give up meat, I say, don't worry, have an amazing steak of a Sunday night and maybe go plant-based for the rest of the week. There's a role for every industry within this. And maybe kind of a plant-based Tuesday and a big steak Sunday is going to be absolutely the right way for you to eat.